Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here. I am glad to be here. Imagine a world where everything that you planned for went exactly as planned. How cool would that be? Or would it? You know, Buckminster Fuller introduced us to a concept years ago uh, called um, the law of precession. It's a physics law. It's an actual law of physics that says when an object in motion is acted upon by another object in motion, the reaction is at a 90 degree angle. If I drop a pebble into the water, I get ripples going at a 90 degree angle. If a bee leaves the hive to go and get what? What does a bee leave the hive to go and get? Some of you said pollen. No, the real answer is the bee leaves the hive to go and get nectar. His intention all along, or the bee's intention, was to get nectar. But on his wings and feet, he gathers pollen. Totally unintended, an unintended consequence that turns out to be even bigger, perhaps, than the nectar that he gets. Now, the nectar is important or we'd lose our bees. So I'm not going to say it's more important, but something as important or something very, very important happens along the way. Well, that's the way life is when we have unintended consequences usually brought by things that we don't plan for or don't expect. But if we're in motion and we're alert, we can capture, we can be on a, on a trip to get the uh, nectar and we can capture pollen. So can I share with you a little bit of pollen I collected this last weekend? I was hoping, you know, I love my work, love my work. I love the people that I work with. I enjoy these business owners and entrepreneurs, their families the businesses that they run. Um, it's a passion for me and I, I love being around amazing people who love their families, want to make a difference on the planet. However, I love being home even more than working with them. And I was so looking forward to being home after two weeks, kind of intermittently, mostly on the road to come home and spend a little of time before I leave for Pittsburgh this Monday and uh, being on the week next, uh, gone most half of the week next week. So, you know, I was so excited. However, it didn't go the way I'd planned. But if you're alert and awake, maybe I'm on my, vi my, my, ne my nectar was getting home, but maybe there's some pollen along the way I can pick up. And just unintendedly, somebody sat next to me, wasn't even his seat. He was able to move up, a man by the name of Derek. And Derek and I had a three-hour conversation. You know, I've been talking a lot lately about how we should, and if you're going to make changes, you must change your morning routine. That has to happen. And we got talking, and he showed me his morning routine, and I felt like, oh my gosh, this guy has got it together. And his morning routine was phenomenal. But you know, you've got to have an evening routine just as well. Most of you know or have seen me talk about in the past, or you have one of our Empowered Wealth journals here, the EW Journal. On one side, we have the morning. On the other side, we have the evening. And in the evening, when, before I go to bed, I ha usually have my toothbrush sitting in here because that way it's linked to another habit. But I ask myself the following, three things I am grateful I experienced or learned today and why. It doesn't take long to just write those down to capture it. And then who am I grateful for today and how did I express it? So, okay. The next one is, if I had this day to live over, what might I do differently? And the fourth one is, what is my empowering question to go to sleep on? In other words, can I engage my subconscious mind to be working on something that I want the answer to or I want to do better while my conscious mind is sleeping along with me. So those I go through to capture the day like that. I also ask myself, did I do prayer, meditation, exercise, and I have a little box up here where I can exit today, and then I mark those, a boy to keep score. That's the way you progress. You have to capture the day. You can't, and then, then you can capitalize. You can grow upon where it's going. All right, so here's, here's the pollen. He does something very similar, but he's broken it down so simple. So thank you, Derek. I'm going to share this with, thanks to Derek, I'm going to share this with all of you. All you have to remember tonight is WWW and then EBI. WWW, if you just sit down and write this, what went well? What went well today? And those, when they say went well, if you learn from it, even as a tough experience, you can write it down. And the second thing is EBI. Even better if. 
That's just saying, if I had this day to look over again, what would be even better if I did this? So just write down, my challenge to you right now is to write down WWW and EBI tonight, then tonight you go through and answer that. See if you can't develop a habit. Make the habit long enough and it'll become, if you do a habit, a daily routine long enough, it becomes a habit. Make a habit long enough, it becomes a trait. You have a trait long enough, it'll be part of your character. And you'll be capturing your experiences every day and learning and growing and expanding and it'll make your next morning routine better. And you'll just keep motion, you'll keep motion going. So thank you for allowing me to share this time with you. I had a few other pollens along the way, one from Bill who was riding an antique motorcycle all the way from Michigan to Northern California. And we just happened to meet on the road while I was running. If I hadn't have been staying in a hotel that night instead of being at home, I would not have had that experience. Maybe I'll tell you about Bill next week. Have a wonderful week. You can make it meaningful. It's up to you to make life meaningful. Nobody else, you. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.